Hello and welcome back. Uh, the first half of uh, the first time during the week we spoke about what is happening with the net bank draw, but now we've got uh, continental stuff. I know some people, continental stuff is not for them. No <laughs> names mentioned. And I won't look at anybody. But uh, this is football yeah. and we want to be able to have a fair discussion. SC, welcome back. Uh, good review last week. Your beloved Mamelodi Sundowns, let's start there. It's going on a holiday to Tanzania or is it going to be a tough one? Because Sundowns come against uh, Gamondi, who used to be a Sundowns coach. Mm -hmm. Comes against uh, Maslazi Makudibele, former development player of Mamelodi Sundowns. Young are called the Young Sundowns in Tanzania. During training. <laughs> During training. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts on the draw? Uh, thanks for having me, Tamposa, once again. Um, look... It's going to be an interesting one to see Yanga versus Sundowns. Mm. I did, I'm not going to talk about Yanga coming here. I'm going to talk about Yanga in their own backyard. Mm. Look at the, the messes behind them. Mm. They've, they've got such a good crowd. Oh yeah, they, they can fill the and stadium. And I'm sure Talifuno can reference that for us. Yeah. You know, mm. uh, he went there with his Kaiser Chiefs team. And they saw what, what happens when you, are, when you are there. Mm. So for me, look, I also have to, to, to look at it in terms of where they are on the log. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at that, they're, they're sitting pretty well there. And for me, for them to come into a CAF game without any pressure in the league, mm -hmm. it says that, look, we are here to play mm -hmm. and we are not about to mess around. Look, Sundowns is a, is a big team in terms of, for me, when you, when you compare them against the younger. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you look at what Coach Ulani has, the headache he has right now is that most of his players are back. You know? Yeah, no, I saw over the weekend, I saw Mvala on the bench and I saw Modau coming exactly. back. Exactly. Babes on the bench, you go, solid team. 100%. So you, you, you look at that space, it tells you that young are going to have their work cut out for them. You know, And them coming to South Africa, look, we're not going to look at it from Sundowns playing a 3 p.m. game. Hmm. Irrespective if Sundowns decides to play the game any time of the day, I think young is going to have a tough time against Sundowns. Mm, mm. I, I'm, I'm not trying to to look at them and discredit them for the work mm. they've been doing. Mm. Sundowns is a huge team in this aspect. For on paper, of, on the pitch, it's, it's just a different team. Mm. Lufuno, mm -hmm. as he believes that Sundowns, if, if I go with his uh, comments, it uh, should be uh, good as gone and should be a win. But <laughs> Yanga have got the support behind them on the first leg on a Friday. Mm. So which means it's going to be an evening game, the supports can play such a big part. I mean, younger fans believe that Sundowns will be taken down. But Sundowns have shown that it's one team, that, and I think Sundowns has changed the way that away team thinks. Yes. Sundowns does not play to say, we'll draw and we'll beat you at home. <laughs> they go, we come into mm. your house and we want to win mm. at your house. Mm. I mean, they did the same, mm. they, though they lost against uh, Mazembe, but mm. they had the dominance and they had the chances. Yeah, um, that is a strategy uh, for Sundowns, and it has worked very well they've mastered it they know how to play away mm -hmm. the way they play and and they will go and grind the result and put mm. pressure mm. in your backyard and get the result mm. and they know that you need to chase the game at, at loftus mm. and you have to open up and yes. you get five mm. once you do that <laughs> so 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 yeah it's it's, it's quite very difficult mm. at sundowns at, at, at this point in time they can afford to go uh, to younger and still lose 2-1, they will make sure that they score mm -hmm. so that they can manage the, the, the tie. Uh, even if they were to lose 2-1 there, mm -hmm. you have seen it when they were playing against uh, a very, very stubborn um, uh, Widat. They will go there, maybe they will lose 2-1 against Widat mm -hmm. under immense pressure in terms of support. They know they're used to that. Yes. You go to northern countries there against Widat, against Ali, the supporters are crazy. Uh, you know, if the game is 3 o'clock, 1 o'clock is packed. They're mm. waiting for you, you know, they're warming up for you. Mm. So they really make you feel that you are coming to play an away game. And I mean, Sundowns have made it, an, and I was talking to a couple of Sundown supporters and I thought, huh? They go, even if you give us Ali, Ali guys know that Sundowns can come here and, and win. I, I will tell you, this is the best, 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 best time for Sundowns to win Champions League. If they don't, if they mess up here, now. Mm. I promise you, they're okay. not going to get another <laughs> easier message <You know? laughs> to get it. Just to interject that. And I just want to mention this. Mm. It's, it's exactly the same thing when they had to play Pedro and they messed up on that game. Mm. And they lost 
uh, and, and they draw here at FNB mm. and they were knocked out. If they don't mess up, because Yanga is capable of beating any team if you sleep. Because they are a very quality team. Don't make look, any uh, mistake. And, 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 yeah. and Miguel is there. Yes, you wanted to say something. No, else. I just wanted to say, you know, you look at what we are, we are referencing in terms of Sundowns playing away. Mm -hmm. Sundowns now has a pedigree in the Champions League. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. they, they don't come there without doing proper work. I mean, Rulani mm -hmm. goes in deep. You know, yeah. profiling players, profiling the whole Yeah, he says he's got five passwords on his laptop. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Right. You know, that tells you that he does a lot of work on these teams. Mm, yeah. And he gives his players the right, the right information, you know. You can even reference that into a national team where you see how these players have shifted their mentality in terms of going into these CAF games. Yeah. Mm, they've, mm. They've, they've taken themselves a notch up. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that when you look at it, and I was talking to a super sport player, and I thought Super Sport applied themselves well. And I saw him the day after the game, he was, oh, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm like, oh, do you know what it's like to chase the ball when those guys, <laughs> and I was like, wow. But looking at that, and then you have certain games that are going to be very interesting mm -hmm. because you now have a Simba mm -hmm. who are facing the champions. Mm -hmm. There seem to be a, a rivalry brewing because Simba have played uh, likely a couple of times uh, in recent times. And, and they've, beaten, they've them. beaten them. But in this stage, we've seen an Ali that knows how to get into through the stages and be able to do the business. You know, Ali, Ali is one team that when you have a chance to drown them, you have to because once you give them second chance tell us tell the sundown should have done that <laughs> right? sundown should have done it and then miss and, 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 and that, that is a problem with sundowns and and we have passed sundowns but however that is a problem with sundowns when they have an opportunity you know when your opponent is asking for you to, to assist in the world sundowns <laughs> raise a hand to say okay i'll help you you must drown your opponent so that you mustn't come back because yeah. they come back and haunt you yeah so and rightfully so Ali are very experienced. They mm. same as Sundowns. They're very experienced. And I've seen the, the pattern. All these uh, regular guys, they, they're all starting to play. They're playing all their games away. All of mm. them. Ali's playing away. Pedro playing mm. away. Sundowns is playing away. Mm. Uh, Asek. Asek. Okay. With Asek, it's just a change. Asek where, is the return of yeah, Asek. Yeah. So, well, they, they've got an away game. Mm. So, in, in a Champions League, and, and you, 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 in a knockout stage, you, you don't utilize the, when you go away and mm. play like you want to win the tie mm. when you're playing away. Mm. Then you know when you, you get home, you got your support, you're playing in, a, in, a, in an environment that you are very used to. Comfortable. You, you can be able to do anything that you want with the opponents. Mm. You know? So Ali, first game, they're playing away. They will manage the game. Mm. Ali, Ali are very smart. They, 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 would, they, can, they can even go and lose one nil or 2-1. They, mm. they know how to play. They don't force things. If they see that they're losing, they will manage it to the, to the point that they know when they go home. They will put you under immense pressure in the, last, in the first 20 minutes and make sure they get a goal. Then they put every plans of yours out of the window mm. and then they will punish you for that. So, so for me, um, it's going to be a very tough, tough game. Simba has got a huge support. Oh, no. And they are passionate. Mm. Similar to uh, Younger. Yeah. 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 They, they are passionate. I think their league more so will be tested because that league is the two it's a two team league mm. it's going to be tested yes. uh with sundowns so, and so, ali so the good thing is that simba won't be beating ali like they did your joining because uh, <laughs> ali is a military team yeah <laughs> <laughs> no look uh, this year champions league one thing that you will learn there have been so many surprises mm. The teams that are not here, that are normally, you will find your widad here. Yes. They're not here. Hey man, Rana, and widad is not coming back next season, man. Exactly, then, my then point. Morocco, a, a, there's, a, they're in there's trouble. a gentleman you may know. Mr. Nabi. Mr. Nabi. I hear you looking. He's, he's well acquainted with, with the case. He's issues. well acquainted with yeah. So, yeah, um, I think Ali, overall, between two ties, uh, I think they will go through. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not going to be an easy game. Simba, I've seen them. They've, they've been regular in the Champions League. They're gaining experience. They've got a very strong management that mm -hmm. are ambitious, that mm. wants to win. They want to see Simba known in Africa as a giant of African football. They really, uh, way Sundown started, they're really building that uh, momentum in the Champions Because when you play in the Champions League all the time, mm. what you do, you gain experience. You, you gain the know-how 
uh, of competing. You start uh, stop being naive and become smart. You know, you don't just go there and just think that you have arrived. Mm, mm. You start planning your games and you really start boxing smart. Mm. And Ali, you know, they've been regular uh, compared to younger. They've mm. played maybe the last five uh, editions. They've been there regularly. Mm, mm. Even though maybe they hit in the quarterfinal, get knocked out. They have, yeah, semi-final, they got knocked out. But, you know, uh, anything is possible uh, with Simba. But, uh, SC, there's a lot of teams that I think they're the underdogs. They could be a surprise package in terms of getting to the semi-finals and the finals and even <laughs> maybe winning. You look at Mazembe. Mm. Mazembe, mm. from ownership perspective, mm. they're very clear of what they want to be able mm. to do. Highly. You look at uh, Pedro. Sim. Yeah. Pedro have got that ownership that says, we will get you the Brazilians, they've, we will get you the They've been knocking. Quality. They've been knocking. They've been knocking. Yes. You've got an Esperance that's now, it's a resurgence of Esperance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those three teams, in terms of, they're just bubbling under because for me at the moment, the top tier is Ali and Sundowns. 100%. Mm. Mm. And we that. Probably. No, we don't well, okay. We understand. And the chances are next season they're next not going to be there. Won't be there. They won't be there. Because of the rest of the other season. Nabi's in charge. <laughs> Nabi's in charge. <laughs> so, the, the one that was rejected. You reject Nabi. <laughs> He's going somewhere. To he was worth two million US dollars. Now, now it's gonna be twenty 10. million US dollars. <laughs> you know, but when you then look at that, even even the younger and the Simbas, yes. there's a group of that says mm. there's a group of teams that says we taking Champions League very seriously. Mm. And even this season, because a younger could beat Sundowns, this is a football game. Mm. A Simba could beat mm. Alali, mm. yes. and uh, Esperance could be and uh, uh, Mazembe could be. So there's a group of teams that are showing potential in terms of do not count us out. Definitely, Tamposa. You know what? Um, before I even touch on that, here's the great thing that we, we as South Af Southern Africans are not aware of. We've got three teams in there, in the Southern Hemisphere. That speaks volumes. Mm. You, you look at the North right now. They've got Ali and they've got uh, is Esper it Asperance. Esper 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 two. Yeah. Only two teams in there. Mm. Mm. That shift has had a huge impact in terms of the African scale. Mm. Mm. And it tells you that what's happening in the Southern Hemisphere is well cooked mm -hmm. and it's coming. Mm. Mm. And we cannot ignore it. Mm. Mm. Again, you, you look at a TP Mazembe. Mm. For me, TP Mazembe, I, I'm referencing them back in the days, you know, when I look at them now. Mm. And they're giving me those vibes that, look, we, we want to be back into this fold of mm. African giants. Mm. To me, they are African giants. Yeah. You know, and... Look, when you've won the Champions League more than once. Mm. Five well, times. You cannot not be counted. Exactly. You may have uh, boiled off winning counts, not finalists. Mm. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, and, and you then look at that. I mean, if you look at... Uh, mm. There was a time, I mean, I remember, Sundowns wanted a player by the name of Rainford. Yeah, Kalaba. Kalaba. <laughs> And, it never and, happened. and he went to Mazembe. Yeah. And now you've got a younger that says, we will get the players that we need. We will yeah. get the coaches that we need. Mm -hmm. How does that Lufuno then bode for in terms of an awareness? Because what is happening within Africa, and that starts at leadership. Yeah. You've, you've had, uh, you've, and you'll go as follows. You had the AFL, yeah. brilliant tournament, executed well on mm. the ground, and everything went fine. Mm. You get to the FCON, executed brilliantly, mm. the numbers are looking good, mm. good off the field, good on the field. Commercially, it was a good tournament. Now you're saying the Champions League is here. Yeah. I mean, it must be exciting being at CAF because all these things, and mm -hmm. it's coming to you a know, boiling point. You know, Paul, what you have said, you have just summed it up, that if you want to compete at this stage, mm. it starts at the top. You need to wake up. Mm. You need to, uh, you know, say, let's start doing things differently. Mm. Um, you know, um, I, I, and, and my view, you know, I think one team that probably will be in this, uh, if they play their cards right, mm. it's, it's Pirates, uh, which, which I think they can add value in, in this co competition. And, and, and as you said, I mean, we have uh, TP, you have um, Pedro, you have uh, Sundowns. Maratipi the pirates, the colors will clash. Well, one will, and white. No, one will wear red. One, one, will, one will wear red. <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah. red is the alternative yeah. color. One will wear red. So, I think it, it's so it's so it's so important, you know, to say the African football is growing. 
mm. and, and it's growing at a very f uh, high speed. You look at that AFCON, the execution, the, you know, the final itself, the football on the pitch. Forget about the, the marketing and all that. And, and, and if you look, we don't want to even talk about the revenue. Uh, aspect of that of mm. that tournament. I it mean, I listen, I listen to Lux talk and how it's, well the tournament did. What look, is done? Wade was the telling officiating. Me. Look, the officiating. Uh, they do. They. VR. VR intervention. VR better than others. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> look, we were sitting here, me and you, and said every uh, VAR decision has been spot on. There's only Solid. one that me and you agreed that. Uh, you know, the ref and the VR people were Should scared. Have. That's Sadio. That, that's Sadio. Sadio that, is red but card. besides that, yeah. everything else was actually spot on. So, uh, I think uh, this, uh, this, this uh, uh, Champions League is going to be a uh, We can't wait to get the top, the, the, the last four and the last two. It will be uh, something uh, spectacle, uh, something that will put African football right at the top. So, let me assist you. Yeah. They say... Find a yellow shirt and you'll be fine. But coming to that, there's always a management that always determines where something is going. Yeah. In South Africa, there's this thing that besides for sundowns and pirates, most teams are either failing, because I think this season's kukune were just found out in terms of experience. Mm. But when you get a super sport that's always get there, but they bring out a second string team, yeah. what does that say about South African teams and how they take yeah, look, uh, I, think, I think what Sanders has done is that uh, they've, sh they've shown a lot of South African teams that there's nothing difficult about the, the Champions League or the African Safari when you want to venture into that. Mm. However, the mentality is the key. Mm. When you go there, you must go there to compete. You must go there to, to say, we are here to, to, to put our stake. And, 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 and look, look at uh, uh, the guy, the team that uh, got relegated in the PSL, um, mm. Maruma 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 they, were there. they went there right to the end, right? They the competed. Semifinals. Yeah, semi-finals. They competed. And, and you could see the teams that they were playing against. You're younger. It was very t t tight, you know? Um, it, and, and, and when Pirates went there, they went to the final. Uh, in, uh, again, uh, the last time Pirates was, uh, besides the, now they were knocked in the Champions League, but on the other uh, uh, competition when they went through uh, the Nedbank, Confederation. Confederation, they went to the final. So, so Kaiser Chiefs went there, they went to the final. So I think the belief on, on most uh, uh, South African teams is that we have, the, we have the, the material, we have the players. All that is needed is the psychology and how you, you put yourself into this uh, perspective. And it's disappointing for me when a coach has Gavin Hunt, when he has to go there and he will speak about anything else besides what happens on the pitch. And, and I think he needs to be driving his team to compete and um, now they are again in the same position to say they want to go there. Uh, however, uh, you know, his mentality, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it's that, rubbing and, off and, right and, the, and, to and, the and, players. And that's the, the thing, as, 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 as we close off, is to say, super sports always want to do well in the league. Yes. Yeah. But when you then listen to the coach, brilliant coach in Gavin Hunt, but how Amazing. he views Kev competition, he doesn't seem to be eager on it. As we close, your thought on... How should South Africans' team take it versus how they're taking it? Look, Sundowns has given us a DNA of this. Yeah. Mm. And prior to Sundowns, I'll say Pirates. Yeah. Mm. You know, Pirates has been there and showed us yeah. how to play this tournament. Sundowns just took it some levels way up. Mm. Uh, I'll reference a story that Rulani said the other day they went to a game and they were given a pitch that is not, hasn't been used in quite some time. Mm. And when Telefono speaks of mentality and psychology, mm. your players are getting to training and there's no pitch to train on. Mm. They have to be psyched up to be ready to grind. Mm. So from that point of view, if you can get your coach to change his player's mentality mm. and say, look, guys, we are here, we are going to compete. Let's do what we came here for and then we walk out. Mm. Tomorrow they'll be coming to us, they'll mm. be visiting us. We'll give them the best state of the art mm. of work. Mm -hmm. mm. They will be there, they will understand what football is. Mm. And we, we, we really appreciate what Sundowns has done. We mm. really appreciate what Pirates has done in the past. You know, mm. There's a game that Pirates played, they played al Ahli. Mm. If you, if you watch that game, you'll understand what it means to be South African in terms of the CAF space. Mm. And for me, we, we can even stretch it to what Dalfuno was speaking to, to when he spoke to, 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 to FCON. Look at where our squad is in terms of FCON. You know, we, we got there, we, we left the mark, 
Mm. We haven't been there in quite some time, mm. you know, and critics were, were busy saying, no, we don't see South Africa coming up. Some of them were giving us a benefit of the doubt. Mm. But we came there and we were in third place and we won it solidly, easy, nicely. We've got great players in South Africa. We just need our coaches to focus on that. Again, look at the log. Ace Kukune needs to be in there. A Pirates needs to be in there because we need teams that are really saying we want to be in CAF. Mm. Because for me, Supersport, when I look at Gavin Hunt and his conversations, yeah. they're not leading us to say, okay, we've got a team here that says um, we want to compete. And mm -hmm. ideally, I look at the number of players that he has in terms of the experience, in terms of the space. Are we ready to send a coach who's not willing mm -hmm. to push his players mm -hmm. to say, look, guys, we're going to play Kev, mm -hmm. let's push ourselves. Mm -hmm. But instead, he wants to talk about all the other factors besides football. Mm -hmm. Instead of bringing a young coach in Lillon or Siena and say, Here's Kev, let's see what happens. And we went there, he really competed. And I think Skukune, at this point in time, they've learned. They, they've seen the know-how of uh, what happened uh, behind the scenes in, in, in the Kev. And if they were to go there again, I think they'll exert themselves very, very well. And uh, as I said, uh, Marumo went there for the first time. Mm. They really amazing. put the amazing football. They, amazing. they played, uh, the, they, the issues no, that you, this, you this, suffer. These two can carry on. The whole day. <laughs> All I've got to say, my prediction last week is that Skukuna will be number two. So Skukuna are going to the Champions League group. Pirates will go uh, confederation. <laughs> you, you key, Super okay. sport must stay home because they don't take this thing seriously. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of good things happening at KEF. Yeah. L reading their commercials and everything that they've done. KEF is doing well. Now we're hitting the business end of the Champions League. We look forward to what happens after the international break. I can't wait. I wish I was in Tanzania. But we look forward to those results coming back soon and see you soon.